Hello there, Spicy Orange Gaming here, the beardier, more ginger half of Spicy Outback Productions. Today we'll be talking about five reasons why you should buy Monster Hunter Rise on PC. Now this is not a sponsored stream, but merely some hopefully helpful reasons you may purchase Monster Hunter Rise. Number one, graphics. The jump in graphics from Switch to the PC version is absolutely huge. Uh, I don't think I've seen a bigger jump in quality since the 60th remaster of Skyrim. What a joker. <laughs> but I digress. Uh, this game has gone from 30 FPS, 1080p, if you were on docked mode, that is, on your Switch, to uncapped frame rates, 4K, HD, and that's right, you big dick tech boys, it has compatibility with ultra wide displays as well. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, this is all good and well for me to harp on about these differences, but if we look at the sheer change in quality from this, to this, I feel I rest my case. Number two. Multiplayer extras. Now what I mean by this is the addition of some pretty cool features for online multiplayer hunting. We now have access to in-game mics, to plan strategies, or simply just shit talk with your mates. But due to keyboard and mouse compatibility, simply hitting the enter bar opens the chat window to quickly and efficiently send a custom message mid-hunt without, you know, getting shadowed by a Rathalos. Three, art style. Simply put, this game looks f***ing incredible. It is an absolute delight to roam around the village of Kimura in between quests or simply fishing mid-game when you should probably be hunting the main objective. Now, of course, this is further enhanced by all of the uncapped 4K goodness, but the art designers have made a world that is truly captivating and paired along with that catchy Kimura theme song we hear 43 times a session between hunts, it truly creates a world that is inviting and allows you to play for hours without getting bored or tired. Number four, game for all types of players. Now this is the complete truth. I am someone who has never played a Monster Hunter game before Rise came out on the Switch. I was a traditional single player RPG kind of gamer, playing games such as Witcher, Skyrim, etc. This game changed that for me though. The Monster Hunter fan base, although very, very passionate, like I mean very passionate, are super inviting and kind to new players and seasoned veterans alike. Uh, this is a game I played purely on stream and I was lucky enough to have people carry, I mean, uh, help me through the game, but when I was offline, I had the help of complete strangers also, helping me through all those fights. With the addition of in-game voice chat or even just text chat, you'll find especially early on, how much fun this game is and how much more fun it can be when you're in a group or party. If you need a party or you need some tips, head over to our Discord and the chat in the Monster Hunter section is more than willing to help as we have a community of people ready to help you through your journey in Kimura. Number five, new DLC mid-year. Now, if you're familiar with Monster Hunter Rise, you'll know that there is a brand new DLC set to launch mid-year this year called Sunbreak. Fingers crossed there's no delays on this date, but regardless, this is actually a perfect entry point for beginners for beginners to start learning the game, playing through the main story and leveling up that hunter rank along the way to ready yourself for when Sunbreak inevitably launches. For seasoned Switch veterans, this is too a great time to join in on PC. I know I'm as frustrated as most as there is no cross-save compatibility, but I truly believe starting on PC Anu has actually helped me play better, just learning the basics over again. With all that information rammed into your ear holes, I hope this has been helpful. Like, comment, and subscribe if you've enjoyed the content, and if you've played Rise before, who has been your favorite monster to fight? Let us know in the comments below. I've been Spice Range Gaming. See you next time.